Hey, hey, what's what's going on down there? Huh? What you what you doing? Huh? You guys you guys ready to go ahead and get on into this episode? Cause I know I am. All right. So since the last episode, not a lot has happened. Well, actually, nothing's happened because, believe it or not, I'm actually a busy person. Uh, a lot busier than I thought I would normally be. But, we are going to get some shit done today. Alright, so, what do we want to do? Let's go ahead. I think we're going to go ahead and we will start cutting down some more trees. And, yeah, kind of kind of just open up the area around us a little bit. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Hey, clearly, I don't know how to Minecraft anymore. Oh, God, this is so pathetic. Okay. Let's do this. Let's clear up our area real nice, and then... We'll go explore that little bit of cave we've got, see what we can find. Get some iron, make a bucket, start a farm, and you can just call me Farmer Handy. No, please God, don't call me that. Um... I have recently been working on trying to get some different content up. Still running into some issues when it comes to audio and my voice is being heard not only once but twice. And I'm sure that can get quite obnoxious. So I'm going to try and eliminate that issue. It looks like it's going to be getting dark soon so we can go take a quick nap. I want to find a carrot so I can get a rabbit, because that would be freaking awesome. I would love to have a rab pet rabbit. Never had one before. I wanted to get one in real life, but my little brother brought one home once from school. And they, they smell really bad. Like, I think I'm just going to stick to dogs, because dogs don't smell that bad all the time. And they're a lot easier to take care of. God. I love my dogs. We've got three of them. They're, they're pretty great. One of them was a stray that we thought we thought we would pick up and she kind of, I kind of took her into my wing, under my wing and now she's pretty much mine, but that's alright. Oh, well, of course it's alright. She's the sweetest dog, besides my other two of course. We got two boxers, and then we don't know what the runaway is. Not really sure. Haven't tried to figure it out exactly. But she is super, super sweet. Um, let's see here. What to do? We might call it good on the wood here after this tree is gone. Jesus Christ, what is going on? Okay. Alright, there we go. So we'll go ahead and call it good on the trees. We got just a, just a little bit of wood. Go ahead and get some food. I'm not going to need that. Um, going to need the cobble. Actually, I need a lot more coal because I ran out of torches. So we're going to go down here while that cooks and try and get some coal. So I can have some more torches and stuff. Go 
go to my sketchy bridge that I made. I don't know why I did that. Oh well, it works. Alright. Could really use quite a bit of coal here. Like I've said before, I love having lots of coal because then I just don't have to worry about dividing it up between smelting and making torches because obviously all of that is needed. I wonder if my brightness settings decided they... No? Okay, we're good. It's just dark. Just got to make sure. Alright. I wish bats had more functionality in this game other than just flying around and running into you as you're swinging and then you accidentally kill one and it's super sad and you have to have a funeral for it. Okay, I did not realize how much food that replenished, but I'm not upset about it. Okay, so we got 27 coal. We'll do half of 14. Oh. I'm an idiot. See, I told you I don't know how to Minecraft. And we'll do that and that. And we'll put it up her and here. And now we have 28 torches. So... I think instead of making a bucket first with the iron, probably should try and make armor first. It might be a little bit more important. That's just an opinion, though. I'm going to try and clean this area up also. If also, that way I can all get some more cobble and stuff. Because I don't really have that much, and I want to fix our sketchy bridge. clean up this area a little bit make it a little bit more open and stiff and things <laughs> got a little surprise for you guys at the end of this video I think you might like It'll be pretty cool. Hopefully, I think. I mean, it's cool to me. So, I think you guys will think it's cool. Alright. Let's make this sketchy bridge not so sketchy. I just don't want to accidentally fall off and then die because dying is not necessarily part of the whole plan here. Uh, is this okay, so this is where we got the coal. There's some more there, some iron there. What else can we see from here? Light it up. Alright. So now that we have a not so sketchy bridge, we can kind of fix that up a little bit. Put a barrier. That way we don't fall. There we go. Much better. Look at. Jeez, isn't it great? Alright, now let's head down into the deep dark. Okay, well we've got coal galore. Is that... Nope, that's just iron. Thought it was gold. Ah, uh, and that zombie's on fire. Come at me, brother. I'm not 
honestly not sure where he just went, but yeah. Um. Uh, sorry, I got a, a text message. It's like a text message, but no, it's a text. I'm sorry, I just said it wrong. I apologize. Yeah, we'll just use this as a stairway. Up. Yeah, that'll work. And then we'll make it a little more obvious. Doesn't that lava sound so safe? No, it doesn't. Probably end up exploring up there. All right, Mr. Zambi. Ah, oh, I need my sword. Okay. Now that we're good, I'm going to turn down the game volume just a little bit because it is kind of loud. So, hopefully, it's not too loud now. I really want to get a make a bow. I don't think you can turn wool into string because that'd be kind of cheating. So, you know my least favorite thing about the whole zombies thing? The fact that they, like, more of them show up as you kill one or hit one. Like, I think that's such a stupid add on. Only because zombies are annoying. It's not like they're hard to kill. They're just obnoxious. There's a creeper right there. I'm trying to figure out where all the zombies I wonder if there's a spawner up there. Hmm. Let's check it out. Watch me. Yeah, watch me get up here, look up, and then get knocked off. That would have been great. Well, there's nothing here. Okay. So that was a waste. All right. Um Guess we can just go ahead. We'll kind of do that. Close that up a bit. Where are these sounds coming from? What the hell? See what I'm saying? They're just annoying. Okay. Whichever one keeps gr growling, he can just cut that out. Luckily, this looks like it's a pretty big ravine, so we might be golden here. I'm going to go ahead and turn down there hostile creature volume to 50 because they are super annoying hope that's okay with you if not well yeah so we just need a few more iron and we can actually make a full set Pretty sure that creeper just jumped off, but it's whatever. I ain't, I ain't about to deal with that ish, not yet. We are not ready. Z Z, you know the guy who uh, just started his series not too long ago. I believe he is on episode five. I think it was episode three. He had a he was in full iron armor, and he had a creeper come up behind him, and he lost half of his hearts. Always be aware. Always. But yeah, he lost like half of his heart, so I could not believe it. So I'm afraid that since we have no armor and a creeper decides they want to, you know, like drop down on us or creep up on us, we're probably going to be screwed. Whoa. A 
as a skeleton. Let's see if he'll come down here. Yep. Freaking got owned! Suck on that, skeleton. Think you can get the drop down on me? Alright guys, well we've hit 15 minutes, so I'm going to go ahead and take you into the surprise. Go ahead and uh, close your eyes real quick. Yep, close them, keep them closed. Keep them closed. Okay. Now I know most of you probably kept your eyes open, so if you saw the name of it, and you know where we're going, yes, I'm showing you the server. I thought I'd go ahead and give you a quick sneak peek, because we're getting closer and closer to the update now. And I think it'll be really cool to show off what's going on. So this over here, I'm going to look down so you can't see it because it is it is unfinished. But this right here is my tower. Currently, I am obviously still working on it. It's almost done. I just cannot get the freaking roof right. And I don't have enough of the dark oak wood, I believe it is. I don't have enough dark oak wood to finish. Mm, excuse me. Finish what I was wanting to do. So, that's still being worked on. I'll show you. I don't know whose house this is. It was a buddy of the kid that actually runs the server. It, that's his buddy's house. This right here is our slime. I think it's, yeah, it's our slime collector. So, you go clear down here and check them out save that for when we actually start playing uh... this is that one kid's unfinished house it looks like it's been trimmed a lot and then i guess we now have i actually haven't seen this yet so this is new to me it's a pretty cool dock for us um, across this sweet bridge we've got the rest of the land. I'll show you Z Easy's area, which is actually really cool, and then I'll show you the kid that runs it, and then our one other friend. And you see, there's still zombies around here. You just can't get away from them. And I can't run, of course, because I'm an idiot and ran out of food. So now we're heading into Z Easy's. I'm hopefully he doesn't mind, but I'm gonna go take some food because I don't want to bore you guys. So. Z Easy here is actually really good with redstone. So if you walk, I always get lost, I think, doing this. If you walk through here, I think he's got stuff hiding. Nope, this is his stable. And there's actually. There's that, so. Yeah, that's how you get into a stable. It's pretty damn cool, if you ask me. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the stuff he can do. Uh, he's probably got some food. No. Holy shit. Okay, well, he's got a lot of stuff in there. Um, but that's the stable. Uh, what's down this way? I'm trying to get through this real quick. I don't want to bore you guys, but the server is really cool. We put a lot of work into it. We had one previously that we had gotten really far. We just didn't want to. It looks like that. Oh. This took us in. Oh, okay. So what this is, is actually my, th this used to be my old house. I used to live in this area here. And now obviously I'm clear over there. But this is where I used to live. I loved it. I had a little area over there too for my stuff. But. It looks like Z Easy has now. Okay, well I guess I wasn't supposed to do that. Whoops. It looks like Z Easy has now turned this into his armory, and it looks really good. So, kudos to him. I'm just gonna eat this rotten flesh. That's yeah, all right. At least we can run ish there we go 
All right, but yeah. So we'll show. I'll show you the rest of his area, and then we'll go over to Alex's and Brody. This is his little farm, small farm here. There's his nether portal. This is probably my favorite part of his whole house. I love how he put this down in here into the uh, ground with all that. I think it's awesome because you can still reach and everything. So, And it's a full enchantment, so it's awesome. This he found actually in here, so he made a spawn, don't spawn. Uh, I haven't seen that much. He's got a... Okay, well, I'm not going to go down there because that's not my place. But I think that down there was his uh, villager spawner. And then he's got or the entrance to his villager spawner, which is over there. And here's two dogs. So that's Z Easy's place. Go ahead and check out his channel. He's doing his hardcore survival. I can't get out these doors. He's doing his hardcore survival world right now, which is actually really cool. Um, we have something set at spawn to where if one of us sleeps in a bed, then it just turns it to daylight. Whether, like, if everyone say everyone's on the server, but we're not all able to get to a bed, we can just sleep in one and call it good. This is Alex's house, and I'm going to use that to get. Ow, dick. Trying to give a tour, you ass. Alright. So this is Alex's place. It's pretty sweet. I'm a big fan of it. I do like the whole underground aspect of everything. And his nice basement here. And he's got his little villagers. Mine right now is the only one incomplete because I decided to move. Because I didn't like my location. But... As you can see, there's my tower without the roof. It looks real good. There's our cow spawner. We've got a sheep farm. We've got a cactus farm. A regular farm, which I put together. I'm very proud of that. I don't know why, but I am. Our ghetto tree farm. Yes, they are ghetto trees. That is our villager farm. And then this up here is Brody's. And Brody, for some reason built a house but doesn't actually use it as a house so that's Brody's place and then last but not least me and ZEZ actually worked on this one together it is an entrance not only to get up to the top up there but it shows off our dragon egg and that was it was a pain in the ass to build, I'm not going to lie, but me and him are very proud of it and his awesome door here. Hopefully I didn't mess that up. I didn't. I don't think it was that obvious. Oh, maybe it was. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at the server and seeing what was going on with the hardcore survival. Uh... I really love doing this series and I cannot wait to actually start playing on this server. So go ahead leave a like rating down at the bottom to make sure we keep these things going. And don't forget to subscribe.